All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily go in and create users for your extension. The end users who are actually going to buy your extension or get it for free and download it and use it. I'm going to show you how you can create those end users using our portal. And first, I'm going to show you how to do them manually. And then in another training video, I'll show you how to actually leverage our APIs and create them automatically. Okay. So to create a user manually, it's very easy. You're just going to come up to this button that says add user, and you're gonna click on that button that says add user. So once you click on that button that says add user, you're going to get this, you're, you're going to get this little form right over here that you can see. And we're gonna ask you just for a little bit of information. Now, some of this information is optional, like the first name is optional, the last name is optional, the email address is not optional, it is mandatory because they're going to use the email address to log in. Then you can give the phone number, then you're going to pick the extension that you want to create them an account on, and then you're going to click, you're going to select whatever plan level that account should be created on. Okay? So let's create a user here. We're going to call them testy test. Their email address is going to be um, test at testy.com. And then we're just going to grab this. And then we are going to just come in here and select what extension do we want to create their account on. So I'm going to pick this whatever extension. This was the white labeled extension that we set up in one of the earlier videos. And then select what plan level they should actually be on. So we can give the bronze plan and then we're just going to click add. And you can see up here at the top there was a message that says uh, extension user was created successfully. Now, if we still have that extension, which we don't, but we can go in and actually load them up again real quick. We had this whatever. There we go. Here's this whatever. So here's our whatever extension, our white labeled friend connector. We can go in and give testy test, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can just log in. Now, testy test can actually use the extension because you created their account. Okay, and then you can go over here and you can see here's testy test right down here and you can see what plan level that they're actually on and at any time if you want to unsus if you want to suspend this user because they didn't pay um, or they canceled their membership or you want to delete them or you want to upgrade them or downgrade them from one plan level to another you're just going to click right over here on these three little these three little bars and you can see on these three little bars you have the option to reset their password. So if they need their password reset, you have the option to actually reset their password on your end. They can also do that right from the extension themselves. If they want to do it right from the extension themselves, they're able to reset their own password. Um, or if they ask you to do it, you can do it. You can suspend their account if you want to actually suspend their account. So let's suspend this user's account. And then let's come over here and try to log in with this user's account. And you can see that user is suspended here. So you can see that user is actually suspended. So let's unsuspend, let's unsuspend their account. So, and you can see right here that they're actually suspended, they're inactive and they were suspended by you. And let's go in and actually unsuspend their account. So now we've unsuspended their account and we could try to log into their account. And they were able to log in, okay? So they were actually, able to log into the software and they're on the bronze plan again if you want to update their plan you can come in here to and click just on the manage plan and then you can change their plan to whatever plan level you want if they've upgraded and now they're on the unlock plan you can go ahead and upgrade their plan there okay this is doing everything manually like i said in another video i'm going to show you how to do all this on autopilot by leveraging our simple apis and then again, if you want to delete the user, you can go in and actually delete the user and they no longer have an account. Okay, so let's go in real quick. And one last thing I want to show you. Sometimes when you go to actually add a user, I'm going to add this user right here. And then we're going to pick them on the whatever extension and put them on the diamond plan. And you can see that there is a, you can see that there is a thing right up here it says user already exists. Whenever I try to create that, you see user already exists. That means that either you or one of your partners, one of your resellers that you've granted, one of your agencies that you've granted 
a number of user accounts on that can actually create accounts and manage accounts on this extension has already created that user. So if you were to go in, if you were to go in here to the extension users and you were to you were to search by that email address, you will find that that user already exists. So obviously you can't add that user again if the user already exists, okay? So now you've seen how to go in and actually create end users on the extension, how to create them, assign them an extension and a plan level, how to upgrade them or downgrade them from one plan level to another, how to suspend them and unsuspend them, and how to delete them all through a manual process. Now, in a later video, I will go in and show you how to automate this complete process by leveraging our simple APIs.